It was all system goes in readiness for the man of the hour. A red carpet affair and the trademark colorful brooch. Security was beefed up around the National Treasury and Parliament buildings. Nothing left to chance. Passerbys were forced to watch from a distance. And as time went by, the crowd started to surge forward on sensing the CS was ready to walk out. And outside the Treasury building, security officers lined up a fleet of vehicles, an indication that the big man was set. And as it is ritual, shortly after 3 p.m., National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich walked out accompanied by Devolution CS Mwangi Kiunjuri and CBK Governor Patrick Njoroge displaying the customized briefcase containing 2016-2017 budget estimates. And after pausing for the cameras, the CS proceeded to Parliament buildings. The once colorful event has gradually lost glamour and color. In a departure from the past three years, this year's estimates were presented in the National Assembly and not in the bicameral Parliament. The senators carried on with debate in the Senate as usual. The head of state was also not present in today's presentation. The event was held on the second Wednesday of June and not the second Thursday as it is customary to accommodate Uganda which celebrates its national day on Thursday. Kenyans are hopeful that the monies allocated in various sectors will be used prudently to better their lives. So, that's it. We are coming to to at least the Ankalau, Mahunga, we to see at least to Natumia Kwanumba Sana Sana. My expectation of uh, this year's budget is that the budget should be real, should be realistic and should uh, reflect uh, the challenges that common man is facing on the ground and it should be meaningful to, to a common man. What I want to see is that the money that has been budgeted goes for the intended purpose for what uh, the, the budget was meant for. Uh, Two point uh, whatever uh, money, two point uh, three trillion, is a lot of money for a country like Kenya, and uh, we want to see that uh, that money is utilized to the coins. And uh, if that is done, uh, my expectation is that uh, it will going to change our living standards. Linus Moshigadi for Channel One News.